Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I am Uzma Jafri. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 24th of January. Indian Prime Minister meets participants ahead of 71st Republic Day celebrations. Bad weather halts search for seven missing trekkers in Nepal avalanche. And Hindus in India offer prayers, take holy dip on auspicious no moon day. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday interacted with cultural artists, tribal guests and young cadets who will be participating in the annual Republic Day Parade in New Delhi on Sunday. Republic Day is observed on January 26 every year. It was on this day that the constitution was adopted and the country was declared as sovereign republic in 1950. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday interacted with cultural artists, tribal guests and young cadets who will be participating in the annual Republic Day Parade in New Delhi on Sunday. A majestic parade is held every year on January 26 to observe the Republic Day when the Indian constitution was adopted and the country was declared as sovereign republic in 1950. It features tableau from various provinces showcasing their regional cultural heritage, national award-winning children on flutes and contingents from paramilitary and other services. Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro will be the chief guest at India's 71st Republic Day Parade this year. भारत असल में क्या है ये हमारा देश और पूरी दुनिया आपके माध्यम से देखेगी जानेगी समझने का प्रयास करेगी Earlier in the day Prime Minister Modi also met and interacted with 49 children who were conferred with national awards ahead of the Republic Day for their contribution in various fields including arts innovation social service sports and bravery india has ramped up screening at airports for those traveling from china to tackle the threat of coronavirus till january 23 over 550 cases of pneumonia with novel coronavirus were confirmed in china and a total of 17 people have died India has ramped up screening at airports for those travelling from China to tackle the threat of coronavirus after it killed at least 17 people and infected more than 600 people globally. The health ministry has alerted airport authorities to keep a strict vigil on travellers in view of the outbreak. The newly identified coronavirus has created alarm because there are a number of unknowns surrounding it. It is too early to know just how dangerous it is and how easily it spreads between people. Authorities in Northern Lucknow City Hospital have prepared isolation ward for the treatment of suspected cases of the virus if detected. We have prepared an isolation ward in our own hands. And as many of the hospitals and hospitals have been sensitized and told about the coronavirus. India's Ministry of Civil Aviation has called for immediate implementation of the action plan and strict adherence by identified airports and all concerned airlines. There is no vaccine for the virus which can spread through respiratory transmission. Symptoms include fever, difficulty breathing and cough, similar to many other respiratory illnesses. Moving on. Pakistan on Thursday conducted a successful training launch of surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missile Ghaznavi capable of delivering multiple types of warheads up to a range of 290 kilometers. According to a statement from military's media wing, the inter-services public relations, the training launch was part of field training exercise of Army Strategic Forces Command aimed at rehearsing operational readiness procedures during day and night. 
IASPR said the training launch was witnessed by senior officers, scientists and engineers of the Strategic Plan Division. The ruling Nepal Communist Party won 16 out of 18 seats in National Assembly, the Upper House of Parliament, in the election held on Thursday. Its ally, Rastriya Janata Party Nepal, bagged the remaining two seats. The main opposition Nepali Congress could not win a single seat. The ruling Nepal Communist Party won 16 out of 18 seats in National Assembly, the Upper House of Parliament, in the election held on Thursday. Its alliance partner Rashtriya Janata Party Nepal or RJPN backed the remaining two seats. The election for 18 vacant seats of National Assembly was held in all seven provinces of Nepal on Thursday. A total of 45 candidates from six political parties were in the fray. The members are elected by an electoral college comprising lawmakers from all seven provincial assemblies and representatives from local bodies. The two-year tenure of 19 lawmakers of the 59-member National Assembly will end on 3rd of March. One seat will be filled by the presidential appointment on recommendation of the government. More on news from Nepal. Rescue officials in Nepal on Friday halted the search operation for seven missing trekkers in the country's framed Annapurna region due to poor weather. Four South Korean climbers and three Nepali guides have been missing since January 17 after being swept away by an avalanche during a trek in the region of Mount Annapurna. Rescue officials in Nepal on Friday halted the search operation for four Korean climbers and three Nepali guides who went missing during an avalanche in Annapurna region due to poor weather. The Ministry of Culture, Tourism and Civil Aviation in a statement said they had to stop because of weather conditions and safety concerns. Rescuers began digging through several feet of snow at two mountainside locations in Nepal on Tuesday, where the seven trackers are thought to be trapped, officials said. The hikers have been missing since January 17 after being swept away by an avalanche during a track in the region of Mount Annapurna, the world's 10th highest mountain. Rohingya Muslims living as refugees in Bangladesh cheered and expressed gratitude on Thursday after the International Court of Justice ordered Myanmar to prevent the act of genocide against them. Rohingya Muslims living as refugees in Bangladesh's Cox's Bazar cheered and expressed gratitude on Thursday after the International Court of Justice ordered Myanmar to prevent the act of genocide against them. In a unanimous ruling by the 17-judge panel, the court on Thursday ordered Myanmar to take urgent measures to protect its Rohingya population from atrocities. A lawsuit launched by Gambia in November at the United Nations' highest body for disputes between states accuses Myanmar of genocide against Rohingya in violation of a 1948 convention. <laughs> Meanwhile, Myanmar's military said on Thursday that the country would overcome any challenges posed by the ICJ's ruling on the Rohingya population by showing unity. <laughs> Uh, 
Myanmar will now have to regularly report on its efforts to protect the Rohingya from acts of genocide every six months until a final ruling in the case. The court's final decision can take years, and Thursday's ruling dealt only with Gambia's request for preliminary measures. Scores of people congregated at a famous monastery in India's Himalayan region of Ladakh to celebrate a two-day monastic festival this week. The main attraction of the annual festival were traditional mask dance performances by monks depicting stories of good prevailing over the evil. Scores of monks and devotees gathered at the famous Pituk Monastery in India's Himalayan region of Ladakh to offer prayers and perform rituals during the annual Spituk Gustor festival, which concluded on Thursday. The two-day monastic festival saw traditional mass dance performances by monks on the rhythmic beat of musical instruments, depicting stories of good prevailing over the evil. The festival is celebrated every year on the 28th and the 29th day of the 11th month of the Tibetan lunar calendar. This is my first time visiting the festival in Spituk and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's very nice to see your culture in a more intimate setting during the winters. So it's, it's very interesting. Monks of several monasteries participate in the festival every year to promote peace and prosperity in the region. The festival concludes with the dismemberment of Torma, a sacrificial cake symbolizing termination of the evil. Scores of Hindu devotees across India offered prayers and took holy dips in rivers on the occasion of Mauni Amavasya or No Moon Night on Friday. They also performed religious rituals for salvation of their ancestors on the occasion. Hundreds of Hindu devotees across India took a dip in holy rivers on the occasion of Mauni Amavasya or No Moon Night on Friday. Mauni Amavasya is considered an auspicious day when sun and moon enter Capricorn sign according to Hindu calendar. It is derived from the word Muni that literally means an ascetic who practices silence. People perform rituals for salvation of their ancestors and give donations to priests or needy to earn merit on the occasion. मौन होकर के आदमी आज स्नान करने से बहुत पुण्य की प्राप्ति होती है और आज नहाने से गंगा जी में पितरों का भी कल्याण होता है पितर भी हमारे तर जाते हैं Scores of devotees also gathered at the famous Ramanatha Swami temple in southern Rameshwaram city to offer prayers and take a holy dip Some worshippers also performed pindan a ritualistic offering to departed souls to help their forefathers attain salvation from the cycle of birth and death the aaj ke din log aakar ke sindh mein snan karke tarpan pindan karte hain jiske matra pura ki aatma ko shanti milti hai uske baad mein bhagwan ka baish ko snan karke darshan karke ghar ko jaate hain jisse mukti yatra milti hai sir Meanwhile braving biting cold devotees also throng sangam the confluence of holy rivers ganges yamuna and the mythical saraswati in northern prayagraj city to take a holy dip and offer prayers Mauni Amavasya is an important date for holy dip during the ongoing annual Magh Mela festival in prayagraj city wherein devotees pray and fast for religious and spiritual solace Well that's the way it was in South Asia this evening before we conclude the top stories once again Indian Prime Minister meets participants ahead of 71st Republic Day celebrations Bad weather halts search for seven missing trekkers in Nepal avalanche And Hindus in India offer prayers take holy dip on auspicious no moon day Now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com you can also visit us on facebook.com/sasianewsline and follow us on twitter at sasianewsline That's all in tonight's edition we will see you same time next week have a great weekend good night